today on how it works, car charging systems. Standard car charging systems really contain three components. We've got your battery with a positive and a negative terminal. We have an alternator that is driven typically by a belt. And then we have a voltage regulator. Oftentimes the voltage regulator is built into the alternator. Sometimes they're external. Even if they are internal, external, doesn't matter. The behavior is the same. They still work the same way. The way they're wired is actually very simple. We have a single large wire that typically comes out of the alternator and goes back to the battery. This is our charge wire. This is where output from the alternator recharges the battery. Then on the voltage regulator, coming off of that same positive terminal, we typically will have a sense wire. This is so that the regulator can know what the voltage in the system currently is. Then we have a wire that comes out of the alternator. This is a field wire. And then another wire from the alternator that also connects in to this positive. And then from the regulator, there is some route that passes all the way back to the negative side of the battery. Oftentimes this will just be connected to the body or the chassis and the negative side of the battery is also connected to the chassis and or body. Inside the alternator is really simple. We have some coils that are connected to the part that spins, some copper wire coils, and some copper on the outside. The field wires are connected here, and the charge is connected here. When this is spinning, if we run electrical current through this, it becomes a magnet, and this magnet passing these other coils generates electricity. That's all it's doing. And then inside the voltage regulator, there's a simple switch. And it's connecting the field to ground. So when the vehicle is running, what happens is the regulator is looking at this voltage level. When this voltage gets too low, it closes this switch, which then lets electricity flow down through the field, through here, back to the battery. It connects this circuit. It's just like turning on or off a light switch. So it turns it on. Electricity flows through here, flows through the field wires, into the stator, which then energizes it, causes it to charge, and Electricity then flows out of the alternator to the battery, charging up the battery. When it gets up to the proper voltage, the regulator senses that and then opens this back up, which then turns off this charging circuit. All that's happening when the vehicle is working properly is this voltage regulator is opening and closing this switch causing this to charge and not charge the battery. Keeps it from charging too much, keeps it from getting too low. That's all they're doing. It's as simple as it is. They may look complex, they may be difficult to because you've got a lot of wires, they're wrapped in loom, a lot of things like that, but that's all that's going on in any alternator and charging system on a vehicle. Now you know. Thanks for watching.